Good morning. Today we are going to deal with particle accelerators. Here you can see a picture of LHC that is Large Hadron Collider. in which two beams of protons will collide with a high energy and the scientists hope to find the proof of the God's particles Higgs boson from this LHC. So our topic of discussion is particle accelerators. So what is a particle accelerator? Any device, any device that accelerates charged particle to very high speeds using either electric field or magnetic field or by using both fields. I repeat. Particle accelerator is a device that accelerates charged particles to very high speeds. The picture shows a particle accelerator in 1937 which was used in the development of the first atomic bomb. So we can define again as a particle accelerator is a device that uses electromagnetic fields to propel charged particles to high speeds and to contain them in well defined beams. So or we can simply say it accelerates particles to very high speeds using electric and magnetic fields. And why do we need these accelerators? We need accelerators to increase a particle's momentum or we can see to increase a particle's energy. Second the energy of this speedy particles is used to create massive particles so that the physicists can study more about this newly formed massive particles. So that's the need of accelerators. And there are two types of accelerators. Or we can say these accelerators basically fall into two different categories. First one is a linax or linear accelerators in which the particle is a shot like a bullet from a gun. So that this type of accelerators are used for fixed target experiments. Or it can be used as injectors to circular accelerators. Here you can see the picture. So this, so like this, the particle is emitted from a gun so that it can collide with a fixed target or it can be injected to a circular accelerator or it will be a linear collider. The next type of accelerator is circular accelerator which is used for colliding beam experiments colliding beam experiments or extracted from the ring for fixed target experiments like cyclotron, synchrotron, etc. So these are the two 
different types of accelerators we have. One is a LINAC, which is a linear accelerator. Second one is whose path will be circular. That means it will, it will be a circular accelerator like cyclotron or synchrotron. Or this accelerators can be also be divided into two classes which are electrostatic accelerators and cyclic accelerators. In electrostatic accelerators, the charged particles are accelerated by applying a constant voltage difference between the source and target. So, we have a source and we have a target and we apply a constant voltage difference between the source and target so that the charged particles are accelerated and the final energy of the particle is determined by the applied voltage. So that the acceleration of the charged particles in electrostatic accelerators takes place in one step. Whereas in cyclic accelerators, or circular accelerators, the particle will attain small amount of energy in each step so that multiple steps are there for acceleration and the final energy will be very high like that of a cyclotron. So we can classify particle accelerators into electrostatic accelerators and cyclic accelerators in which electro in electrostatic accelerators the final energy is determined by the applied voltage whereas in cyclic accelerators multiple steps energy multiple the, the energy is attained through multiple steps and maybe it can be a curved path like that of a cyclotron or can be straight line like that of a linear accelerator. Now how does an accelerator work? So we had already said that these accelerators are used to accelerate charged particles, isn't it? So electrically charged objects exert forces on each other. We know that the opposite charges attracts and the like charges repel. So a particle with a positive or negative charge will experience a force when it is placed in an electric field. So when such a force acts on the particle, the object accelerates. So, whenever a charged particle is placed in an electric field, it is experience a force and this force accelerates the particle. So, this is the first particle accelerator in 1930. In 1931, Van de Graaff generated a very large accelerator in, built in Massachusetts Institute. Where Van de Graaff developed an electrostatic accelerator in 1881 which can accelerate the particles up to an energy of 10 mega electron volt. So Van de Graaff generator is an electrostatic accelerator in which the final energy of the particle is determined by the applied voltage. You can here see the voltage given. So due to this voltage the particles are accelerated. In 1931, Rolf Widrow developed the LINAC in which there is an ion source is there. So this ion source is allowed to move between move through different dif drifted tubes and the drifted tubes are connected alternately to a high frequency oscillator. So whenever the power, when, if there is a positively charged particle, this distributor will be negative. So what happens? This positive charge will attracted towards this drifted tube. So it's 
energy is increased it get attracted due to the opposite polarity of the drift tube now what happens when this reaches the end of this first drift tube the polarity changes that means first drift tube becomes negative uh, positive and the second drift tube becomes negative so again on, on reaching here the particle gets attracted due to the opposite polarity of the second drift tube in so in multiple steps the energy is increased and finally we will get a particle with high energy so that is the linac which we will study so multiple in energy is increased in multiple steps isn't it so it's a cyclic accelerator we can see linac as a cyclic accelerator but in which the particle moves in a straight line in 1932 E. O. Lorentz developed a cyclotron in which the particle is placed in a center and they travel across the gap between the dc see in between this gap the particle is accelerated in the last figure in the linac the particle is accelerated between the gaps of the drift, drift tubes so the acceleration is done in the gaps but in the case of cyclotron also so in between the d's there is a small gap so the particle whenever the positively charged particle at reaches here this d will be negative so what happens from positive this charge positively charged particle is attracted towards the negatively charged d so the acceleration is done in between the d's and the particle can an attain an energy about 100 mev again these particles are accelerated by the voltage difference between sorry voltage difference between the two halves another cyclic accelerator is beta tron developed by d w kurst and we can move on to the applications of particle accelerators in particle physics we know that there is four basic forces are there that is gravitational weak strong and electromagnetic force so in order to study about these four forces we need particle accelerators also in order to study about the several particles like leptons quarks in order to find quarks we had already know about quarks quarks are the elementary particles from which uh, these protons and the neutrons are made so in order to identify the quarks we have to split to this protons so inside this protons protons and neutrons are made up of quarks so proton has to be splitted so more energy has to be given to proton so that it gets splitted and we can see the quarks so it's an another application of a particle accelerator so high energy is needed in order to give it to proton so that we can split the proton and can see quarks so in order to to identify or to recognize quarks we can use particle accelerators and in cosmology and astrophysics we use particle accelerators to study about the origin of our universe also about the big bang theory and also an another particle called a neutrino is there so in order to study more about the neutrinos we need more energy so in that way also we use particle accelerators so there are different applications of particle accelerators are there so these are some of them thank you